go, ready to blow, ready to risk it all. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ready to be wrong, ready to be right. I feel like I'm losing my mind. Is everybody in the world blind? Please, Lord, give Hi, guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So, guys, in today's video, I'll be showing you how to make vanilla cake without an electric hand mixer. Yes, guys. I have here my butter, my eggs, my flour, my sugar, my milk, my baking powder, my vanilla syrup. Very important. So, guys, let's bake. First thing you're going to do is to sieve your flour. So, guys, it's very important that you sieve your flour to prevent lumps. Next, I'm going to add a teaspoon of baking powder, a teaspoon of salt, and I'm just going to mix this together. After I'm done with the dry ingredients, I'll go over to, to my wet ingredients. In here is my room temperature butter, and I'm going to add in my sugar. I'm going to cream this together until it becomes pale. At this point, I like to use my wooden spatula or my manual wix to mix this together. And in the process, it becomes lighter and also increases in size. At this point, my butter and sugar is well incorporated and as you can see, it has also increased in size. Next, I'm going to crack in my eggs and I'm going to put them separately into the cake batter. Next, I'm going to add one tablespoon of vanilla syrup and I'm just going to mix this together. At this point, I'm just going to add in my dry ingredients and I'm going to mix this together until the dry ingredients incorporates into the wet ingredients. Guys, at this point, you have to preheat your oven to 180 degrees. <music> And then I'm just going to add my milk and then mix again. Next, I'm going to add the remaining flour into the batter. And I'm just going to mix until everything is well incorporated. Add the remaining milk and I'm just going to mix this until everything is well incorporated. And our cake batter is ready. Next, I'm going to grease my pan. Guys, it's very important to grease your pan with either butter or granite oil. It's very, very important. Yes, this is to enable the cake come out clean. Without doing this, your cake is going to be stuck to your pan. So guys, make sure when you're doing this, you grease your pan, okay? I'm going to use a spoon to level the top of my batter. Yes, this is to enable the cake, the top of the cake to come out flat. <music> Guys, I'm also going to be doing some foil cake. So this is my foil cake and these are ready to go into the oven. I'm going to bake this for 45 minutes after which I'm going to check with a toothpick when the toothpick comes out clean like this you just know your cake is ready guys this came out really really good as you can see 
so yummy <laughs> so guys this is my cake the final result this is my foil cake i also did some cake parfait with this lovely beautiful delicious yummy <laughs> uh, fluffy cake here yeah, this is my cake parfait so guys we've come to the end of the video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe thank you and i'll see you guys in my next video bye